I just found out that my 2018 Huracan Performante was actually owned by Austin McBroom and originally specced in the factory in Italy by Logan Paul. Now, this came about because I posted my video telling you guys about a Lamborghini Huracan Performante that I purchased that I never told you guys about. It was a matte factory orange color, super unique spec, an amazing looking car. So once I posted that video, a couple of you guys in the comments started commenting that this is Austin McBroom's car. And I was like, you know what? There's a chance that it is, but it could just be a coincidence because he could have had a regular orange one and wrapped it matte what or matte orange. But I started to look into it a little bit deeper because as I looked at the pictures of the car, it looked honestly really similar. And so I said, let me do some investigating and actually find out if this may be the exact same car. Now, if you can't tell, I'm not home right now. I'm in actually Los Angeles, California, where this car was from. And that was the first thing that think made me think, okay, maybe this is the same car because the car came from a dealership here in California. He obviously had it here in California. And so first things first, I looked at the spec of the car and it is pretty identical or it is identical. It is a matte factory orange inside has black seats with white inserts there is every option for the forged carbon fiber and the car was owned in california so i decided to pull the car fact so we can see where the car originally came from so if we go back there are three owners me being one of them let's go back to the original owner in 2017. so this car was purchased as a personal lease in 2017 from ogara coach now ogara coach is basically the lamborghini dealership of beverly hills obviously that's here in california and the car was purchased new so i decided to go back and look at when Austin originally got this car. Now he got this car by being surprised by his fiance at the time and they made a video on it. And so I went to that video to see where did she buy this car from? So obviously they're in California, it's a Lamborghini dealership and she ended up going and buying the car for him. Here's a little bit of a clip of that. This looks so good. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, it's literally amazing. Oh my gosh. This is a perfect color, it's one of a kind. This is the most expensive color that Lamborghini currently makes. Austin. What? Austin, it's yours. It's yours. Stop. Austin, it's yours. It's freaking yours! This is my dream car. You know how long I wanted this car? Oh. Ever since I came out the womb, I wanted this car. <laughs> Now, as I'm watching this, she doesn't inherently say exactly where she is. You can just see Lamborghini at Beverly Hills on the guy's t-shirt. But as I looked further, if you notice, she's holding an Ogara coach envelope that says Lamborghini of Beverly Hills or whatever. So right there, then and there, I know the car was purchased from Ogara coach. She bought it brand new. And so if you look, brand new 2017, October 25th, let's check the date of the video. That video was posted at November 11th, 2017. Purchase date, October 25th, 2017. It lines up. They posted the video a week or two after they went ahead and bought the car. To me, there's like the definitive sign because when I purchased the car, when we come back to when I bought it back in 2023, car was actually for sale from Ogara again as a Lamborghini. Now Ogara has multiple different Lamborghini dealerships. They have an Ogara, or not Lamborghini dealerships, but Ogara dealerships. There's one in San Diego and there's one in the California and they sometimes I assume share inventory. And then there's me, the purchase in Georgia. Now again, these things could be a coincidence, but let's go ahead and check out the spec of the car. And the spec is where things get pretty crazy because there's a podcast clip that came out of Logan Paul talking about how he specced Austin McBroom's Lamborghini. So that Lamborghini that I purchased was originally specced in the factory in Italy by Logan Paul. So let's cut to that clip. And and I'm happy with the Lambo, as you all know. Yo. I love my cars. Yo, so so, so do you want to tell that story? Austin has an orange <laughs> Lamborghini. It is the cool. Can you give me stats? Like you 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 came Perf over and Perfumante. bragged about it. Why would I know the stats of your vehicle that you, you own? You would know the stats because it was supposed to be your car. This <laughs> dude. That's right. Literally. It's crazy. Right. No, 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 no. It's crazy because before I purchased this car, I had no idea. The day after I bought it, I found out it was supposed to be your car. <sighs> and you know what's funny? After I heard that, I loved it that much more. <sighs> it wasn't It wasn't like me going and buying the same car you liked. It was the fact that you built it already. Here's why this is a big deal. Built it six months prior to its release. Right. Flew to Italy with my brother to see it being made in the Lamborghini factory customized everything. I know everything about this car. I ended up not buying it because they were being like kind of a-holes at the Lamborghini factory. How, how so? How are they? How are they? When we got there, they told us, they told us before we got there that we could film. When we got there, they told us we couldn't. It was, it was a super, like Jake and I face this all the time. It's like, uh, 
people feel like a sense of power and want to like yeah, control yeah, yeah. and the, yeah. I, I didn't like the energy. I was sitting there watching it being built. This was my wow. Baby. Wow. Wow. What was your question? Mike? No, I was just going to ask, do you think that that car that you're describing in, in, you know, detail right now is a car that someone with $4.5 million would own? How much is the car, Austin, when you bought it? <laughs> just out of curiosity. How much is the Lambo? Yeah. You, you were going to buy it too. Yes. Yeah, so $325,000. So would you actually, sorry to cut you off. Actually, the price I bought it at was three ninety, three eighty five to be you, exact. Wow! What did you did you add that's something? What, did you add something to it? No, that's what they was gave it to the me. Orange paint because it was the only one out here. <clears throat> you know that's the only car. Yeah, I do, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do because they sold me on it, Austin. <laughs> he goes, no, still, still though. After a year, it's been. No! It's been I had it for last month was a year, and, and this, it's still the only. It's because car the, out here, that color. The color. Yes. They've ne Lambo has yes. never done that. that and they, and matte, they got, matte orange. Right, and right. they got my boy driving around LA in a white G-Wagon. Yeah, exactly. Not one of one. I'll exactly. tell you that much. What? what? You know, you came over that night and you were like, yo, check out my whip. I'm like, yo, this looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> like, why does it look so good? And you're like, check it out. It's got the white interior. I'm like. Wait. And I'm going to give you props too. Because every <laughs> other. Listen, 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 listen. Every other Performante, right, that I come by. I look at the specs, nowhere near mine. I know. Nowhere near mine because of you. What's the fastest you've gone in my car? <laughs> mm. I got pulled over on my birthday going 160 miles an hour. So you can't do that. You can't do that stuff, man. Hold right. up a second. So as you can see, he ended up not buying the car because he didn't like how the people in the factory treated him, which is an interesting take. So I guess he specced it ordered the car, the car came to the dealership of Ogara, brand new, and he decided, I don't wanna purchase this vehicle because of my experience with Lamborghini. That car then sits there for sale for a couple months, and then Austin McBroom's wife, or Austin McBroom, decided that she was gonna buy that car. So they end up purchasing the vehicle and then keeping it. Now, I'm not sure at what point they sold it, because Austin had posted pictures with the car up until December of 2022, so almost 2023, and it looks like the car was offered for sale in December 2022. So I think he ended up selling it because I bought it with 24,000 miles. I think I bought it directly from him, which is pretty insane. I bought it directly. Well, he sold it back to the dealership probably, and then the dealership sold it or consigned it, but bought it directly after him. Now, a few interesting things about this car. It sat on there, it sat, I think for like, well, let's, let's look. They listed it for sale in December 2022. I bought it nine months later in, uh, Georgia. So nine months that car sat and they couldn't sell it. So I think it was due to the mileage, but it was a certified pre-owned car. Um, but that car sat for nine months before it sold. Now I don't know if they owned it or I guess they owned it at that point because a car sat in consignment for nine months is pretty crazy, but he probably sold it back to the dealership or traded it in and got a new vehicle. Now I don't own the car anymore either. So I'm curious if anybody who is a YouTuber ended up purchasing it because it was purchased by somebody in Florida next when I had, after I had put about 3,500 to 4,000 miles on it, it was purchased in Florida and now it is there. So I somehow ended up buying Austin McBroom's Lamborghini Huracan Performante that was specced by Logan Paul in the factory in Italy when Jake Paul also had specced out I think he got a Performante as well. Yeah, he has a Performante as well, but he still has his car and it's been wrapped by RDB and stuff. I never knew that and I didn't know that until the comments. So thank you guys for letting me know in the comments. And that is another story that I was not expecting to make a video on. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and I'll see you guys in the next video.